everyone welcome back to another video if you see this error on your tesla it doesn't matter model 3 y cybertruck whatever the safety restraint system issue uh, rcm a094 is the code um, i'll show you in this video how to pinpoint where this error is located in the car and ways to fix it yourself so this error typically means that you have an issue with your seat belt seat belt buckle um, any of those sensors airbag sensors um, what you could do is just you know physically look around your car make sure all the belts the buckles everything are in place just a quick visual inspection that's one way of trying to find if there is an error that you can spot but the other way is by going to the car's service menu so Tesla's have this really cool feature where you don't have to connect any third-party device you just go to the software of the car long press here and type in service and I'll show you how to find this error code or the location of it at least so we are in the service mode right now we're gonna click on safety and restraints then we're gonna click on seats and would you look at that so right now I'm just gonna zoom out so there you go it's telling you second row center buckle buckle fault it's pinpointing it it'll then show you all the you know the, the timing the error has been coming up uh, then it shows you the potential reason for it but if you just click anywhere there you go hopefully you guys can see this clearly but let me just do this so you can see right there we pinpointed the error so it is in the rear uh, seat the middle buckle so let's go and investigate what's going on with it So we're in the back seat. It told us there's an issue here. So let's inspect it. And I think I know what the issue is. So if I can hold this around, but there. So typically there's a wire connected. Each of these have a wire that talks to basically a controller, letting the car know that you know the buckle is buckled in. But you can see the wires cut. I believe it's somewhere inside the seat. We have to pull the bench out anyway, so I'm going to show that to you in a second. But what might have happened is, you know, um, either kids might have pulled on this, pulled on the wire, removed it, or the removing of stuff. It might have got tangled in something and, and got pulled out. So let's remove the bench seat. Bench seat removal is very easy. On each side, there's this little hook that you just slide, and it comes right off. I'm going to remove bench by doing this on the other side Just make sure when you remove the bench seat uh, these connector for the heated seating on each side just make sure to release them and then we can just pull the bench seat out it's sitting right there now here's that buckle and right away I can see the wire that's ripped out and then it felt into the seat cavity or behind the seat rather uh, so it's supposed to look like this it connects at the back here but i think it is a design flaw with teslas that these come out sort of high up they can be easily um, ripped out unknowingly by someone so and since this is such a tiny spot here it's really hard to solder this back together um, what i'm going to do is just order one from junkyard they're pretty cheap it comes as a whole piece with the two connectors here and the Way to remove this one is disconnect, remove this bolt, and the whole thing comes out. So let's remove this one and install the other one. So there you go. And as soon as I put it, uh, the error is already gone. I'll put everything back together and I'll show it to you. So the bench is put back together. Uh, I got to say the hardest part of this entire thing was getting the buckle out uh, through these sort of holes in the seat already. Uh, you just got to take your time here and do it. So let's check the car out and see if the error is removed. And there you go. You can see we had the error here. It's gone. It's not showing here anymore that's just my tire pressure so in about 15 10 15 minutes we were able to fix the issue i got the replacement part for i think it was like uh, 60 bucks um which is pretty cheap 
so anyways i gotta say this service menu in teslas are very useful helps you a lot especially if you're diying uh, repairs on the car or how much you can do you just save a ton of money that way hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to subscribe the like button catch you guys in the next video